Hi, I'm Lee Ream Snyder. I write the documentation for Rational Asset Manager, and today I'm going to be demonstrating the integration between Rational Asset Manager and Jazz servers. In Rational Asset Manager version 7.2 or later, there are tools to work with applications on Jazz servers, such as Rational Team Concert or Rational Requirements Composer. From assets or forums in Rational Asset Manager, you can not only add links to resources on a Jazz server, but you can also create new ones. This allows you to create a strong connection between assets and Rational Asset Manager and their development processes on Jazz servers. For example, from software releases that are in the planning stages, you can add a link to the project's plan item, which then links to other enhancements in Rational Team Concert. As of version 7.5, you can also link directly to requirements in Rational Requirements Composer. You might also create a forum and then let users request enhancements or open requirements directly from that forum in Rational Asset Manager. Here's how to set it all up. The first step is to synchronize the time settings for all of your servers. This is an administrative nitpick. All of your Rational Asset Manager servers and Jazz servers need to be set to the same date, time, and time zone. If they're out of sync by a few minutes, the information requests between the servers might not work. The next step is to get an OAuth consumer key and secret from the Jazz server. An administrator on the Jazz server will have to help you out here. You have to tell the Jazz server to expect requests from Rational Asset Manager. To do this, in the Admin section of the Jazz server, click the Server tab. Then click OAuth Consumer Management. Type a memorable consumer name such as Rational Asset Manager. Then type the consumer secret that you want to use twice. This is basically your password. Finally, click Register. The consumer key will be generated and appear on the screen. You're going to want to write this down or copy it. The next step is to add the Jazz server as a friend server in Rational Asset Manager. You'll have to be a repository administrator in Rational Asset Manager to do this. In version 7.2, each community had to independently manage their own connections to Jazz servers, but here, I'm showing the procedure in version 7.5 where friend servers are configured for the entire repository. That way you only have to add the connection once instead of for each community. So in the web client, click administration and then cross server communications, which is a new page for version 7.5. You scroll down to the friend server section and then click new friend server. Now enter some basic information about the Jazz server. Name and description should be pretty easy. Now, copy and paste the consumer key that was generated by that Jazz server, and then type the accompanying consumer secret. Select that this is the Jazz server, and for the root services URL field, enter the full URL for the Jazz server with root services added on to the end. After you've added the friend server, you're all set for making links to work items in forums. Doing so in assets takes a little more work, but we'll come back to that. So let's show you how this works in the forums. From this asset, I'm going to go to the forums page and then click New Forum to create a place to make posts about this asset. I'm going to name my new forum Support and Defects. Now that we have a forum, let's see how it works with posts and topics. When I create a topic or post in this forum, you'll see a link here that says Add a Link to Resource. Resource is the generic Jazz term for work items or defects or requirements. Uh, it depends on the application. So here, let's say that I found a problem with this asset, and in addition to talking about it here, I also want to open a defect in Rational Team Concert about it. From there, the defect can be tracked and someone can check in code against it. So I describe my problem, and then I click Add Link to Resource. You click that, and then you'll see some flyout menus where you select amongst the existing Jazz server connections, then the available project areas, and then you can select to either create a new work item or find an existing one. Here I'm selecting that I want to create a new defect. I'll get a lot of fields to enter some more detailed information. What's required of you will depend on the Jazz server, because basically this is the interface for Rational Team Concert right here in the forum topic. So I've entered some information, and there you go. My defect has been opened in Rational Team Concert, and there's a link to it right here in the forum. If I follow that link, you'll see that the defect is indeed in Rational Team Concert, and that defect has a link right back to the forum where I opened it. 
All right, we've covered the forums, so let's move on to adding resources as asset attributes so that they can appear on the general details page. To do this, you need a custom asset attribute of the resource type. Don't worry, I'm about to walk you through it. So you need to be a repository administrator to make custom attributes. In the web client, click Administration and then click Asset Attributes. You're going to scroll down to the bottom and click New Attribute. From the pop-up window, select Resource. Then on the next page, add a name and description such as Known Defects, and you're all set here. Okay, now that you've created the custom attribute, you need to assign it to asset types. I'm going to modify an asset type for my community. As a community administrator, go through the administration page and click Asset Types. I'm going to click one of the standard ones to modify it. Scroll down and click the Constraints tab, then down to the Attribute Constraints section and click Add Attribute. Finally, I select my Known Defects attribute that I made earlier, click Add, and that's it. Click OK to save this, and that's done. Now that the asset type has been configured, we can move on to the fun part. I'm going to go back to my asset that I created and click to modify it. Now, since I've added the attribute to this asset type, you'll see the Known Defects attribute. Just like with the forums, there's a link to Add Link to Resource. I click that, and I go through the same basic flyouts to select the connection, project area, and whether to create or link to an existing work item. This time I'm going to select that defect from before. Now that link has been added to the asset, so I'm going to save it and then head over to the general details page and you'll see that the link to the known defect is right there with the other attributes. So now maybe if someone else has a similar problem with my asset they can see right there on the general details that there's already a known defect out there. And that's it and thanks for watching.